Okay, so new toy. So, as you see before in the previous clip, got rid of the mini. Uh, I got most of my tree lines done. That I don't need the trees. Any more tree work done. So next step is enclosed trailer. It's 24 foot long, eight and a half feet wide. So it's as wide as it can be, 102 inches. Got the LED lights, uh, upgraded 5,200 pound axles. Have a window on each side. Got outlets on the outside, all LED all the way around. I am going to add some reflective tape to the bottom of this. That way at nighttime it's a little bit more visible in case my lights went out. It's got the four foot door so I can load up the bikes in this door. Nice little step. Uh, so the guy before me, he had this custom built with the electric Got the outlets, the cabinets, the windows, the LED lights, the 15,000 BTU air conditioning with heater. Uh, also have LEDs that run off the truck power. The floor is waterproof, but I'm gonna put a coating over it. Uh, he started the paint and then his wife basically said no she wants a camper so this is basically unused uh, that was when I picked it up I had a friend I stopped by and he wanted to see if the Jeep Wrangler would fit and it does got all these nice cabinets got power outlets he hasn't painted in here yet so I'll have to finish that All kinds of storage I just grabbed that out of the barn that's why it's all nasty but I got paint some rollers some tape I'm gonna go ahead and get this finished up and uh, get it all white and then I'm going to I got some collar uh, I don't know what I forget what they're called the little collar strips to try to match up the gray I'm gonna try to do the floor the same color as the cabinets and have it gray so gray white on the sides gray on the back uh, and then I'm gonna do some e-track systems I'm gonna try to put the bed above the razor or the bikes whatever is back here have the bed up here and then whenever I'm at campsite I can unload the toy and drop the bed down level or bed bed height and then I'll put probably E-Tracks down along the side and be able to strap the Razor down or a car. Uh, the ramp is rated up to car and uh, Jeep standards. So I can haul a lot of stuff in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this door, open up the windows and get the painting. Okay, so got the windows masked off. That way I can go ahead and paint around those. I'm gonna go ahead and paint these white so it kind of blends in a little bit more. Uh, and then I'll probably end up doing the gray when I do the floor on those. And I don't worry about masking this off. I'll just go ahead and just paint it. Take these screws off, take that off, and just paint the, uh, the box itself and then leave the gray so it matches the floor. So, go ahead and start painting.
got a little before and after. Uh, still got a few coats to put on this. At least one more coat, uh, especially on the black fender. It really shows through. It'll probably take three or four coats on that. But it really just opens it up. That white just makes it seem a little bit bigger. And it matches the front now that he uh, went ahead and painted before I picked it up. So uh, I'll probably, my battery only has so much left, so I'll probably finish the rest of this up. Okay, almost forgot about the uh, inside of the cabinets. Go ahead and get these painted and uh, I gotta do these down here too. Once I get that painted, I'll uh, probably go ahead and just paint that floor white since it's going to be inside. Mainly want to do the gray with the epoxy on the for the vehicles and bikes that are going to be coming in here. Be able to wash it out. I'm probably going to go up to eh, eight inches or so up the side of the wall and these. So in there, not a big deal. I'll just paint it white. You're not gonna see it. Most of the time it's gonna be full of junk anyway, so. It's kind of a little update. Okay, next update. About to start the floor. I got everything masked off for how high up onto the wall I wanna do the epoxy. So get all this stuff out of here. Well, I also need to have the ramp down and it's supposed to be raining tonight, so I am gonna park this into the barn. That way I can have the ramp down and do the whole floor and the ramp. And probably just this side. I'm not sure if I can get both sides, but I'll at least get the top side. And then I might paint this later on, but for the most part, I want the epoxy on this side. The whole ramp door and the floor and it should be somewhat matching it's gray but i'm not sure how well it's going to match there's uh, not too many choices it's not like regular paint so get all this off the floor get it sweeped get it clean in the barn and start doing the epoxy Figured I'd do a little update. Starting to get this uh, epoxy rolled on. I got all the trim work done, just laying it on thick. Got a little bit of the gray uh, speckle already. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and uh, do a little time lapse. I'm moving pretty, pretty good. down here I have a communication to set up in my helmet just got a brand new one that just came in get this set up and uh, see about riding the bike okay so this video got this all epoxied clear coated uh, the one gallon did the whole floor and one foot up the sides. Did not quite have enough for that. 
that whenever I do the shipping container floor, I'll have enough because it's not nearly as much. Now this is 22 feet plus, I don't know, eight feet of ramp plus one foot off up the sides. Shipping container will still be, will still, uh, shipping container will only be 20 feet and eight foot instead of eight and a half foot. So should have plenty left over to do both sides of this flap or I might do diamond plate. Not sure yet. Thought about doing diamond plate on top of that too, but so this video uh, I'm gonna do some mounting of the X Track rail system. I already kind of got these in place using self drilling inch and a half, I believe. Yeah, right here. So number 14 inch and a half self drilling. 10 millimeter socket on the little impact puts that awesome onto the floor and then back here I'll lay them out real quick I just cut some of these and painted them because they don't make smaller sections they're almost always five feet for the X, X track system I wanted X instead of the E track. Just seems like a little bit more uh, possibilities on how you want to mount them. But I got them so they fit around all that. So I'll lay these out real quick and then uh, get back with you. Okay, so what I'm doing with these, trying to put them up against the wall as much as I can where this is still straight up and down. And I'm close enough that I'm actually hitting metal back here. That's why you want the self self tapping screws. Well, I didn't hit metal on that one, but I don't have very many of these, so I better be conservative a little bit so I can go get some more. At least get them mounted today. Right now it's either the razor or the bikes that are gonna go in here. So it's not a big deal. I'm not having all these screws in. I got a generator I'm going to be putting on the front. It's got plenty of room. Generator should sit about here. Probably move this on down, put a battery on there. The generator I have already. Okay, so here's the generator. 3200 starting watts, 2900 uh, continuous or running watts. It is remote restart or uh, it is remote control. 
It's electric start. I guess I should uh, choke it. But it's the uh, inverter type generator. Really nice handle. It's on wheels. Does have pull start. Starts really easy. I think it was uh, just under $900 or right at $900 on e-trailer. So that should be nice and quiet compared to the old one. I know it's a mess from doing the trailer floor, but here's the old one, you know, the classic generator. Loud. Never, never is quiet. This is a lot quieter. And I don't have to get out of the trailer. I can keep the on switch on. And if it starts to get too muggy inside, I can hit the remote control, have the AC or the heater going, and not have to worry about anything. So, and then this is also an X-Track system. And the plan is to put a bed above this rear section here, which I have. these brackets that clip on so technically it'll go this way better answer my phone so anyways it'll end up going this way and those X track systems are going to go vertical and I'll have it where I can adjust it from up here when I got the toys loaded to probably down to here. I think that's about five feet. Be nice and low, easy to get into the bed. And that will be the X-Track system that's in the box. I'm gonna have four rails set up with these with two by fours and make a bed platform. Uh, I guess I am going to have to keep it above the electrical box a little bit, but still plenty low to get in to the bed. So that's the plan. Razor will sit up here. Bed will go back there. Uh, the parents have a queen size mattress from the RV that they just bought last year. So I got a free mattress. It's only like five inches thick, so I can put it up against the wall and have plenty of clearance. Uh, mattress should be probably about this thick. And then I'm gonna have about another, what is it? About four inches with the two by four plus the plywood. Uh, not sure what's, how thick a plywood I'm gonna end up doing. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to jump in right here because I never really did any more video on this. And I want to do an update on the current status of the trailer. Obviously, you see I'm in the trailer and kind of have this little setup. Got a TV mounted so I can do editing and stuff. Uh, I don't actually live in here. I just... 
just happened to be in here doing some garage work basically and it's nice having it enclosed in the heater and being that I'm working on a bike that's small I got plenty of room and it's just a little easier and more convenient having this in here already but anyways besides that uh, just let's go ahead and do some updates uh, the reason I got a heater in here it's like 60 bucks and it's really quiet this up here is kind of loud when you turn it on So when you're trying to do, you know, work in here and edit, trying to listen to music, it's just a little loud compared to this. And this right now handles this trailer just fine because it is insulated, ceiling, walls, everything. Uh, see, I got some racks. I think I picked these up, I don't know, 90 bucks for the, both of them. So I got all my brake cleaner and PB blaster and just uh, food stuff. You know the good toilet paper so when you're at the campsite you know just makes it nice uh, this is just a mess right now because I've been working on everything but got some hangers put up on the wall for all my gear uh, the bed you see is now hinged and folds up against the wall instead of being up on the ceiling uh, the reason I did that is because if I go bigger on the razor with tire size it was going to hang down too low where this way I I can go all the way up to like 35s 37s with the razor and still clear the roof so kind of the reason I did that plus this is a lot easier to fold up against the wall and strap versus trying to put it up against the ceiling and also put a uh, another two inch mattress topper so made it a little bit thicker uh, in this next clip you're gonna see some I guess uh, a fail per se because the way this strap was before instead of coming and doing the 90 uh, it had to come around here and back around about here and made this real floppy and put a lot of weight down here on the hinge and the screws and it well, failed you'll see in the next clip uh, one thing I'm gonna do is put a strip of wood down here so when you tighten the strap up it pulls up that way it keeps the weight up off that hinge and all those screws and then I should be ready for paint and just be done with the bed I think it will pretty much be done with it so uh, just kind of a quick update now also that little box is a cell phone repeater because you are in a big metal box so to have cell phone service throw the antenna outside the door onto the hinge plug that in good to go and then uh, you know pay attention stick around for uh, the video on this um, how I got it why I got it and what I'm gonna do with it so that right, on to the video well I 65 uh, took its toll it's so rough it uh, pulled that screw all the screws out of the wood so got a project for uh, later today get that mounted back onto the wall so it can swing up on to the wall so yeah great start to the vacation and once I got that up TV uh, fell off I'm gonna guess that probably hit it tore it off and it's all busted not sure if it works yet first things first is to get the trailer plugged in go from there okay I pretty much got everything situated now to fix the bed real quick the TV is gone. The screen's cracked. This whole whole thing's busted on the back side. So when I go run into town for supplies, I'll just upgrade to a smart TV. But for now, get some of these uh, screws hit the screws out of here. Get that two by four attached back to that, and then reattach it to this. So uh, yeah, I'll see you.
in a few. Well, it took me about mm, 15 minutes. Got that back attached. It does flip up and stays up. Next time, whenever I uh, go home, I will try to uh, brace the bottom a little bit so it doesn't bounce up and down on that and break off again.